Grace and peace to you from our God and Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Philemon chapter 1 verses 3. Oh beautiful family, warmest welcome back again to the Love is Touch channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today on the menu, we have this simple Ghanaian braised rice recipe, which is popularly known in Ghana as Angwamo. This is very beginner friendly and it's absolutely easy to make. So please be sure to stay tuned while we whip this real quick is such a simple delicacy let's do this together here i have my yasmin rice even though i would have preferred the local Ghanaian rice but i'll manage this yasmin rice for like that <laughs> All right, so I have my tole beef as well, coconut oil, some onions, and salt. Amazingly simple, right? <laughs> so to begin with, I'll go ahead and then chop my onions into slices like this it really depends how you love to chop your onions it really doesn't matter okay even if you want just chop them into two and add it <laughs> you'll be good to go this is absolutely simple you do not need any you know metrics or anything for this all right i'll chop my tolo beef as well as simple as that let the cooking begin <laughs> so in my pot i will add my coconut oil and of course you can add any type of oil that you have to your preference once that oil is a little bit heated up i'll just go ahead and throw in my onions i love lots of onion in this recipe okay try it you will love it to frying the onions for about two minutes i'll just go ahead and add the tolo beef just in case tolo beef is very new to your ears is a way we cure our lamb beef or even goat meat i have a recipe of this and i will link it right here for you to watch okay frying the onions and the beef for about three minutes i'll then go in with my washed rice as i said earlier on i would have preferred the local Ghanaian rice or the asantemon it's actually my favorite to make my angwa more with but hey yasmin rice does not slack <laughs> you know it works pretty well i think if yasmin rice was a person it would have been my bestie for sure because i love it <laughs> So I'll just fry that for about three minutes ish and then add my water. Be mindful though because this cured lamb that I'm using is salted. Okay, so you don't want to salt it just yet. Just allow it to boil so till all the water evaporates. And once the water evaporates there, you will know the exact or quantity of salt that you will need. Okay, you just go ahead and stir the rice and give it a taste. And if you will need a little bit of salt, this is how you should add it. You should add the salt and add a little bit of water. Make a little bit of brine solution, okay? And then you sprinkle the water on top of your rice. Just so that your salt will be evenly distributed to all corners of your rice, okay? It is absolutely amazing and it works all the time. Once you're done, you just give it a thorough mix again. And then this time around, you cover it with powder parchment paper and all that you will have left is 10 minutes more your rice should be ready this is very very easy easiest peasiest rice you could ever ever have so for this rice you will need your pepper hot chili pepper sauce or salsa it complements it so well and this is how i do my i'll go ahead and grind some ginger onions and a little bit of salt and i also add my peppers and some tomatoes you just go ahead and do it according to your taste if you want it hot and spicy you add more peppers okay i have to grind this in my etin bowl because it just brings the authenticity out <laughs> and once you're done you just go ahead and taste for salt if you need more you just add a little bit of it and voila as simple as that you are done and this also needs some omelette yes <laughs> we pair it with some omelette you know Ghanaian and eggs we love our eggs 
there is nothing you can do about it. Yes, it is written. What is written is written. We love our eggs. So we go ahead and just make some omelette. You can also use some hard boiled eggs. It does not matter. But you know, this time around, I just made some omelette to go with it. And that is the real deal. If you want, you can just end here. But there is a lot more that you can pair <laughs> with your braised rice. We have our corned beef, sardines, sausages, avocado, more of chopped onions, peppers, you know, a lot. The list goes on and on and on. You can always divide, subtract and just do you. All right. <laughs> so the rice is ready now and I'm so much particular about my kanzo. So I'll just dip it in cold water just so that it will be so easy for me to have that removed. It's so good to have. Trust me. If you do it that way, your kanzo is safe and collected. <laughs> so all that you have to do is to plate it and enjoy look at this fam it is absolutely delicious so good so yes there you have it family all these that you see is what complements this braised rice the most okay you can take away add multiply do whatever you love to have with absolutely tasty and so so quick to make this made for any Ghanaian you are good to go if you want to really make your first Ghanaian dish I think you should try Angomo you will absolutely nail it thank you so very much family for watching I really hope you enjoyed the process and if you did please be sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you think about the recipe and also if this is your first time here hello my name is Lovia from Lovie Statch my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the corner comfort of your home so please be sure to subscribe and join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful <laughs> just the way you are see you in my next one bye <laughs>